There are two methods to fix the sound problem in your Windows 11. Method 1 Open the Windows settings. To open it, right click on the start menu and from these options click on settings. You can open the Windows settings by simply clicking the Windows key and letter I together. Now in this window, after selecting system from the left pane, go to the right hand side and locate for the option troubleshooter troubleshoot ok it is here expand it and then from these three options click on other troubleshooters in the next screen locate for this option playing audio and then click over run towards that option ok now the windows troubleshooter has started to detect the problem with your computer this may take some more time so please wait patiently once this process will be completed the troubleshooter will suggest you with some fixes now I am asked to restart my computer so click on apply this fix then follow the on screen instructions uh, here click next then the troubleshooter will start to detect for any other additional problems once this process will be completed it will suggest you any other fixes so here once again I have been asked to restart my computer so close all the old windows and then restart your computer after restarting your problem should be fixed if this first method doesn't work with you then try the second method to do it open the device manager to open the device manager type in the search box device manager and then open the first result now in this window locate for audio inputs and outputs ok it is here expand it and then right click over the driver software of this device now from these options click on disable device click yes in this confirmation window and now once again right click over the driver software of your sound and uh, then this time click on enable device ok now please check whether your problem is fixed or not if the problem still exists once again right click over the driver software and this time click the first option update driver now from these two options click on the first search automatically for drivers by this way windows will find and install the compatible driver software for your computer if this window shows that the best drivers are already installed then go back and this time tap on the second option here browse my computer for drivers in the next screen click on this link let me pick from a list of available drivers and uh, now from this list of drivers select anyone then click next over here ok now it says that windows has successfully updated your drivers now close all windows and then restart your computer after restarting your problem should be fixed I hope this video will help you. Thank you for watching this video by iTech Tips.